First, we begin with North Korea's internet system. Its network is partially restored now, but only after access was totally de denied for about 10 hours on Tuesday Korea time. Some speculate it was Washington's retribution for the recent hacking attack on Sony Pictures. For our top story, here's Shin Tae Min. We will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally, and we'll respond uh, in a place and time. Uh, and manner that we choose. Days after U.S. President Barack Obama said he would take proportional measures against the cyber attack on Sony Pictures that's been blamed on North Korea, the communist state experienced its worst network collapse in years. North Korea has since gained full access to the internet, but only after 10 hours of disruptions. It's not yet clear what caused the outage. But suspicion immediately turned to the United States in light of the recent attack on Sony Pictures. Deputy spokesperson for the U.S. State Department Marie Harf declined to comment on the reports that North Korea had lost its Internet access, but did say that as the U.S. implements its responses, some will be seen and some may not be seen. Access to the Internet is limited in the North, and what is offered comes from a Chinese-run provider. Only a small number of people are allowed online, and very little commercial or government-related business is done on the web. For that reason, experts say the outage isn't expected to have any lasting economic effects on the North. Shin Jae-min, Arirang News.